Hi all. In this video, we are going to draw the development of a hexagonal pyramid. The question is, a hexagonal pyramid is resting vertically on its base on the ground with two of the sides of the base perpendicular to VP. It is cut by a section plane inclined at 40 degree to the HP and passing through the middle of the axis. Draw the development of the bottom portion of the pyramid. So two base edges of the hexagonal pyramid are perpendicular to VP and it is cut by a section plane inclined at 40 degree to the HP and it passes through the middle of the axis. So we need to draw the development of the bottom portion of the pyramid. We can start from the top view. So first I am measuring 25 mm on compass which is the base side of the hexagonal pyramid. So I am drawing a circle of radius 25 mm which is the length of base edge of the hexagonal pyramid. Two base edges are perpendicular to VP. So first I am drawing the diameters. And now I am measuring 25 mm. That is the radius of the circle. And I am cutting arcs on the circle. Now we can join all the points. We will get a hexagon with the two edges perpendicular to VP. You have to draw the hexagon using thick lines and we can see all the lateral edges. So I am drawing thick lines. We can see all the edges in top view and I am naming the base corners as A, B, C, D, E, F and the apex of the pyramid it is marked as O. Now I am going to draw the front view so I am drawing position lines. The height of the pyramid is 60 mm. So I am drawing the front view. First you have to draw the front view using 2 edge pencil and I am marking points as a dash in, bra in bracket F dash, B dash in bracket E dash and C dash in bracket D dash and the apex of the pyramid is marked as O dash. In order to draw the development, we need to find the true length of the lateral edge. For that, we need to draw a horizontal line from O in top view and you have to cut the radius 25 mm on that line. Then we need to project the point to front view. Since we drawn the circle and diameter in top view, we already got the point in top view and we need to project that point to front view. That is what I am doing now. I am projecting that point to front view and I am joining O dash and that point. Okay, we can draw a thick line. And in top view, I am marking that point as T and in front view, I am marking the point as T dash. So O dash T dash is the true length of the uh, true, true length of the lateral edge of hexagonal pyramid. Now we can draw the development. So I, I mark the point O and I am drawing a straight line from O in any direction and now I am measuring the true length of the lateral edge that is O dash T dash and from O I am cutting an arc ok I am drawing a bigger arc and now I am measuring the length of base edge that is 25 mm on compass and I am cutting arcs on the bigger arc
so i am extending that bigger r so we will get the final point and now i am joining the final point and o and i am drawing the lateral edges on the element we can draw the element using the lines first so i am marking the points on the element that point is a f e d c b and a now we have to draw the section plane so i am marking the midpoint of axis that is 30 mm from base and i am drawing a horizontal line and using protractor i am measuring 40 degree angle and now we can draw the section plane which is inclined 40 degree to hp and also passes through the midpoint of axis okay i am marking vt on section plane okay if we look in that direction we get the true shape of the section and now i am marking points on section plane as 1 dash 2 dash and 3 dash so the top portion of the pyramid is removed and we can draw thick lines on the bottom portion now we have to draw the section plane on the element for that i am drawing a horizontal line from 1 dash and it will meet the true length that is o dash t dash at 1 double dash i am marking that point as 1 double dash similarly i am drawing a line from 2 dash already a line is there so i am marking the point on true length as 2 double dash similarly i am drawing a horizontal line from 3 dash and it will meet the true length of the lateral edge that is o dash t dash at 3 double dash i am marking that point as 3 double dash now i am measuring o dash 1 double dash on compass and 1 dash lies on o dash a dash and o dash f dash so i am cutting r zone o a and o f okay i am cutting r cone o f because 1 dash lies on o a and o f and i am marking points as 1 okay now i am measuring o dash 2 double dash on compass and 2 dash lies on o dash b dash and o dash e dash so i am cutting r zone ob and oe and i am marking points as 2 and now i am measuring o dash 3 double dash on compass and 3 dash lies on o dash c dash and o dash d dash so i am cutting r zone oc and od and i am marking points as 3 okay now i am joining all the points using thick line only bottom portion of the pyramid remains so we can draw thick line on 1a and the base edges of the pyramid is a straight line so we can draw straight line from a to f 
f to e etc because the base is not a curve it is a hexagon so you need to join all the points by a straight line you can use edge pencil that is you can draw thick line so the development is completed and you can mark dimensions okay first i am marking the radius of the arc that is the true length o dash t dash okay we can write the true length as o dash t dash and now i am dimensioning the length of base edge that is 25 mm and we can mark the length of the axis that is height of the pyramid and we need to mark the height of midpoint also that is 30 mm from the base okay and the height is 60 mm okay we can we can name the surfaces development that is the development of bottom portion of the pyramid and length of base edge in development is also 25 mm so our drawing is completed if you like the video subscribe my channel and click the bell icon also thank you